We are back with Chris Farrell with Judicial Watch. Um, <laughs> we need you here for a couple of hours, but I'm just going to... I'm going to run off. Tell me if I'm missing anything in terms of the, the scandal-free Obama administration. So we have Hillary's server, totally illegal, multiple felonies, not secure, cutting and pasting, TSSCI, SAP, highest level uh, national security secrets onto an unsecure server. Check. <laughs> Thank you. And you've got that. Okay. Engines, fuel pumps, check. Um, FISA. So we've got the use of opposition research, the exculpatory uh, nature of the opposition research being used for that warrant not being declared to the judge. Correct. Come Again. on, check. check. Come on, we've got to get a roll we're here. Say, we'll be artillery. Okay. Check. The use of human intelligence assets to try and penetrate the Trump campaign. Check. Uh, the use of NSA, according to Dan Bongino, and a FISA court memorandum, the use, the exploitation of the NSA database by contractors who aren't even authorized to access that database. Check. Then we have Comey writing classified meeting memos of his meetings with the president and leaking them to the press. Check. And then we have the masking, unmasking, of hundreds of American citizens without due process or without relevant justification in the national security domain. Double check. Okay, what have I missed? Oh, there's more. How about the IRS? Oh, sorry. Yeah, IRS, okay. Yeah. Um, How about Fast and Furious, where there's right, at least... Right. I, yeah, they invoked executive privilege on that one, which means that between the Attorney General and, the, and President Obama, they, they figuratively dragged about 300 body bags into the Oval Office, right? That's what they did. There's at, le at the time that they did it, there were at least 300 deaths. Now there's more linked to Fast and Furious so not, weapons. Not just that one border no, agent. No, 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 no. At least 300. At the time that they invoked e executive privilege, and so, uh, and I, I deliberately say this because it's provocative, but it, you know, figuratively speaking, when they invoked executive privilege over Fast and Furious, they dragged 300 Mexican body bags into the Oval Office because people they were killed didn't by, want to talk about it. People who were killed by Eric Holder's weapons. Correct. Okay. Of all, that's stunning, and that's the language you need to use to get the requisite attention. Of all the, thing, of all the things I've just rattled off and you've confirmed with your check, which one, Chris Farrell, do we need to dig the deepest on? The gravest threat is the coup against President Trump. Yeah. That is the gravest threat to the Constitution. So the, the Russia hoax, FISA, that entire, human intelligence. That, that, if you just roll it up in a ball and call it the Russia the, or the coup against the president, whether it's the president uh, candidate Trump, transition team Trump, or President Trump, that entire sequence. Now, we treason is usually related to those who are giving succor and uh, aiding a, an enemy nation in times of war. But we still have very, very powerful statutes on the books with regards to sedition. And Absolutely. this is sedition, is it this not? This is a seditious conspiracy, without a doubt. And I, and I mean it literally. I'm not just being cute with the right. semantic jargon. I mean, I mean, you're a former military intelligence professional. Correct. And, and you've been doing this for how long? Special Agent of Army Counterintelligence for a long time, and I put six foreign intelligence service agents either locked away in jail or we neutralized them in the sense that we either doubled them back or told their service we know what they're doing, so drop dead, stop. Uh, so I'm not guessing at this. Right. They're for a living, and I'm telling you that what we've seen now is a seditious conspiracy under the letter of the law. Do you have confidence that somebody will be charged with seditious conspiracy? I don't know if that will be the charge, but I believe... Or with that, a felony. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just generically a felony. I believe that the Attorney General Barr is a man of his world. The word, he's going to say what he... He says what he meant, and he, and he meant what he said. And I think that Mr. Durham, with his credentials of having unwrapped the Whitey Bulger Boston FBI right. mess, nightmare, uh, that there's a two guys who are going to play hardball, and that... Uh, there may be people, you know, chuckling and snickering now, the, the James Comeys of the world. The strokes. But what goes around comes around. I don't know about you, my friends. <clears throat> I am pumped. <laughs> I am very excited right now. We need to get you back because when I feel down, talking to Chris, Chris Farrell makes me feel much better about the future of our republic. God bless you, Chris. Uh, Tom, everybody else at Judicial Watch. Support this organization. Follow them at Judicial Watch. I'm Sebastian Gorka. This is America First from RoadyFactor.com Studios.